Growing levels of plastic waste pollute our towns, rivers and beaches, causing damage to the environment and to our health. Pollution affects fish breeding and therefore the income of fisher people. And dirty beaches and parks discourage tourists from visiting. Indonesia has a high percentage of people living in rural areas where it's difficult to provide waste pickup services, adding to the problem. One way to cheaply and effectively create change is by placing learning programs about environmental issues into schools. Young children are the citizens of our future and they can influence their families and communities by passing on information that they've learnt at school. A program called Indonesia Hijau has been developed to teach young students all about reducing, reusing and recycling waste. Earlier this year, 48 teachers from 24 local schools from around the township of Momeri Flores gathered for a two-day training session facilitated by Susie Kupner. Susie has been trained in the program herself and is a passionate advocate for recycling of garbage especially plastic waste. Yeah! Indonesia Hijau consists of a teacher's book with 26 lessons and an activity book for students. Through group work and role plays, the teachers learn about reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce, reuse, reuse, reuse. The teachers present lessons to the other teachers in the audience. Learning activities include songs and dancing. They also prepare and present craft projects for turning waste into useful items. Skipping ropes from plastic bags. Picture frames from newspapers and cardboard. They even have a lesson about the importance of separating organics and non-organics and they make compost from organic waste. At the end of the training, the teachers work in groups and make individual commitments to achieve goals for reducing, reusing and recycling waste in their school. The trainer Susie has also started her own bank sampa where she buys recyclable waste from the local community. With the help of a small team, they recycle it into beautiful products. These products are sold in a shop and include picture frames from waste paper and cardboard, bags and mats from sweet wrappers, toys, and baskets from plastic drink containers. After the Indonesian Hijau training course, the trainers follow up with the teachers, visiting them to see how they're implementing the program. At this particular school, community groups are joining in with the students for a clean-up of the local area and learning how to sort the waste for recycling. One aim of this program is to encourage schools to become waste recycling centres for their community and to train trainers to teach the program to schools in other regions. From these community recycling centres, waste can be sold to larger recycling hubs, where it is further sorted,
and packaged to be sent away for manufacture into new materials and objects. For this, we collaborate with the Indonesian recycling sector. Imagine the change that could be created if this program was taught to our young people throughout all schools in Indonesia. Indonesia Hijau gives all Indonesians hope for a cleaner, greener future.